Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode we're going to be taking a look at this here. This is the Tesla Universal Wall Connector for your J1772 vehicle or your Tesla vehicle with the NAX plug. We're going to take a look and dive into the open boxing today and take a look at this product up close and then we'll be getting it installed in a future episode. So make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. So Paul here with another product review, and this is the Tesla Universal Wall Connector. So I actually picked this up for myself because I wanted to change up my garage charging. And I actually have had this for over a month now. I'm finally getting around to doing an open boxing and getting this installed and actually testing it and doing all that stuff. So today's episode, we're actually just going to be doing the open boxing, taking a look at the product, kind of going over everything with it. And then we're going to talk about a couple of really good bullet points for this particular wall connector and why this one might be the one that you want. So let's go ahead and dive in, take a look at the product and see what it's all about. So this is the new Tesla universal wall connector. Notice the word universal. So Tesla has been making wall connectors for quite a while now. They've had a couple versions of their Tesla wall connector and that has just the standard Tesla plug like you get right here, the standard NAX style plug. Now, this is the universal wall connector. So this has essentially the same thing. It has the NAX end or the Tesla end. And then it has an adapter. And a lot of people are referring to this as like the magic dock or the level two magic dock like you would see at a Tesla supercharger. Very few of them at this point. But it basically does exactly that. It adapts the Tesla NAX handle and it actually adapts it to a uh, a J1772, so it uses an adapter. The adapter is very nicely built into the charger itself. Once again, you're gonna hear me talk about this as a charger. I know this is an EVSE, not a charger, but a lot of people refer to these as chargers. So EVSE charger, I mean the same thing when I say that. So really cool, unique, interesting way that Tesla designed this is with a built-in J1772 adapter because they've had the Tesla wall connectors with the aforementioned Tesla handle and they've also had the J1772 Tesla wall connector. Well, this one will take care of both. And for me, I own a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance and I also have a Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is before NAX, so my car has just the CCS combo port on it. And uh, so this is actually gonna come in handy for me specifically. So I'm really excited to dive into this, take a look at it and see what we get in the box. So let's do that right now. Let's just talk about the box real quick. It's just a pretty much their standard wall connector box. It has a small picture of the wall connector on it. it says Tesla universal wall connector. Nothing really fancy with the box. Tesla does a good job of making it very simple, but also very elegant. Diving in to the box here, we are greeted with the Tesla, there it is, the level two universal wall connector. Really nice. I've never had a Tesla wall connector before. Um, I've seen a few up close, but these are really, really nice units. And from what I understand is this is basically very similar to the standard Tesla wall connector, but it is a little bit thicker. And so we'll take a look at it and see exactly what the dimensions are, the measurements of it and see if this is gonna stick out from your wall too far or if this is something that you would be fine with. So let's go ahead, let's get it out of the box here. Very, oh, it's actually kinda, of, it's got a little bit of heft to it, but overall it's actually kind of a light unit. Um, so let's go ahead, I'm just gonna dive in here, take this out, the cord is nicely wrapped in the bottom of the box here. So really, really done well. All right, so we are going to lift this up and out of the box. Now let's just talk about what's in the box real quick. So it gives you this uh, small pamphlet here. So this is a quick start guide and it looks like it just shows you some basics of, you know, how to set this up as far as wiring and stuff goes. And when it comes to wiring these units, I highly recommend that you do hire a uh, certified electrician to do these installs. 
I don't recommend doing it yourself if you're not comfortable with dealing with electrical, especially if you're going to be running wires or, or changing out a circuit breaker or anything like that. If you're not 100% sure of what you are doing with that, then I highly recommend getting this done by someone who's not only familiar with electrical work, certified and licensed electrician, but also someone who's used to doing EV chargers because it is a little bit different of a world when it comes to doing the EV charger side of things. So we got that quick start guide and we also get this really nice uh, template here. So this is a template for getting the uh, charger mounted to the wall. So you use this as a, like a little bit of a guide to you know put this up there so you can set it up with your screws. And so that's kind of nice. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take this out of the way. All right, so here it is. This is the Tesla Universal Wall Connector, as you can see here. So once again, really nice wall connector. Tesla really does these well. It's a nice thin cord that goes from the unit down to the NAX connector or the Tesla handle there. Very nicely done. We obviously have the uh, stripe in it for your charging to let you know that you're charging. Tesla logo across it, really, really nice. And then on the side here, you have the J1772 adapter. And so what we do with this is we put the handle in, and if we want the J1772, we just pull it out with the Tesla handle. The adapter locks onto the Tesla handle just like it does with the Magic Dock. That's the reason why everybody refers to these as Magic Docks. So we got on this side, we have the back. This is the installation plate. So you mount that to the wall first and then you mount everything else onto that mount. And we're gonna take a look at this and open it up in just a little bit as well. All right, so let's just take some measurements real quick to get an idea. So from the back of the charger now up to the front, we are looking at about six inches. So this will stick out roughly six inches from the wall. From the bottom of the black area here to the uh, shorter side, we're looking at about nine inches. So this side here is roughly nine inches. And then if you wanna go the full length of the charger from the bottom of the cable to the top, you're looking at about 13 and a half inches from there. All right, so yep, it is a little bit thicker than the Tesla wall connector, the ones that we have seen for many years now. So it is a little bit bigger than those, but honestly, I don't think this is a lot bigger than some other ones that are on the market, EVSEs that you put in your garage. This probably falls in line with about some of the thickness of those. Some might be a little thinner than this, some might be a little thicker than this. So I don't really see this as being an issue as far as size goes. Now let's go ahead and let's open it up and take a look inside and see how well they've laid this all out. All right, so the first thing we do to get this apart is by taking this back plate off of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this, they put a little handle here for you basically and lift up. All right, so now this is the unit here that you mount to the wall. Your electrical gets run through this box to these connectors right here. And so when you mount this to the wall, this gets mounted, it gets screwed into the wall. You run your cables through and then that is what holds the power basically until you snap the actual charging unit onto here. Now what's really cool about the Tesla wall connectors, they always give you so many ways a running cable into this. You have your bottom access through here. You kind of come up through the bottom. You have your top access through here and you also have your rear access. So you actually have two ways of getting through on the bottom inside of this connector here, which is really cool to see because I'm gonna do this more like a flush mount. So it sits in the wall, the wires come directly from behind and then they run up through this, this system here, which is really nice. The other cool thing is this will take up to four gauge wire, four gauge. So that's pretty thick wire. And that's actually what I'm gonna be using to uh, wire mine to this is four gauge because I wanted to have the maximum amount of copper between my circuit breaker and this uh, in this wall connector. And so I'm running four gauge, which is nice to see that this supports up to four gauge wire. Now, keeping in mind that this is a 48 amp unit, it's 11 and a half kilowatts of potential energy going through this. And if you are going to wire this for the full maximum capability, the 48 amp, 11 and a half kilowatt of energy, you want to make sure that you run a thick enough gauge wire. Please do not try to run this on a thin wire 
and just assume it'll be okay. Once again, going back to make sure you hire a licensed individual, licensed electrician to come out and do this work for you. But yeah, so it's good to see that they support up to four gauge wire. All right, so we open it up now. We got some screws here for mounting the charger to the wall. Looks like they give you a bit for that as well. Some other screws, I'm sure we'll be using those in a little bit. You can take a look inside the charger here. On the outside, you see this really nice seal that goes around the charger and around this part here. So it seals real nice. These are rated to be for outdoor use as well. So that's another consideration that if you're looking for an outdoor charger, this one is very much capable of being an outdoor charger. If you look in here, you can see the contacts for how this snaps together. So you get the power from this piece here to the actual unit itself. And then you also see that the uh, basically the, the cutout for the J1772 adapter is in here as well. You can see that. So that is pretty much all there is to the unboxing here. Let's take a look at the... Uh, the Nax handle, the Tesla handle here, and see what this looks like. I'm sure it's gonna look exactly like all the other ones. It probably looks exactly identical to that one that I got right here on the wall. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that real quick. Ooh, tape is strong. All right, slide it out, and oh, okay, so it is a little different. So you are getting a completely black uh, Nax handle here. This is really kind of nice, really sleek. Got the, the Tesla writing in silver, that's really nice. Got the button on it, of course. Looks really good. So actually, that's a surprise. I thought that was going to be uh, like this one with the silver inside of it, but maybe they've been updating these lately because um, you know maybe the wall connectors get a little bit different handle, but really nice. So overall, I gotta say this is a pretty nice uh, system. It's a pretty nice setup that they give you, really easy. All you gotta do is find a place to mount it to a wall, run your wires into this piece here, once you're done getting all the wires and power to that, you just snap this unit on there. And this also acts as your cable wrap, as you can see. So it's really nice that they integrate not only the cable wrap into the unit, but also the fact that the uh, holster for the Tesla connector is also built into the unit, just like the old ones. But it's interesting how they do that now with the uh, J1772 adapter. So now you're actually plugging it into the adapter to holster your handle. Interesting concept. I think Tesla always knocks us out of the park when they do things like this. Their design always seems to be pretty on point. So that is really interesting. In fact, while we're sitting here, why don't we just plug in this um, Tesla handle into the adapter. Let's see, just see how this is. All right, and there we go. So that's pretty much it. Now we can't remove the, uh, the adapter out of the unit because the unit needs power for that to happen. So we can only put in the handle and take out the handle, but we can't actually take out the J1772 adapter yet. So we'll have to do that during the install video. So this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Now there's a couple things I want to talk about with this charging unit specifically. Now, if you are in the market for looking at EVSEs for your garage, and let's say you're sold on the Tesla verse, as I call it, and let's say you're going to get a Tesla wall connector, because that's the one you want, you want to get, but you don't need the J1772. So you're like, I'm just going to get the Tesla wall connector. It's got the one handle. I don't need the adapter. It's perfectly fine. That's it. One consideration you should make for this purchasing decision. Now I know this is a little bit more expensive than the typical Tesla wall connector, but the one consideration you should make is whether or not you will be buying a Cybertruck. And the reason I say that is because the Cybertruck is supporting vehicle to load capabilities. And now that the Cybertruck has just recently come out, the one requirement at this time to be able to do the vehicle to load capabilities or vehicle to home capabilities is actually this charger. So it does say in the listing for the Tesla universal wall connector that this supports PowerShare. So PowerShare is the capability of being able to share power both in and out of this unit from your Tesla Cybertruck. Now, they may release this functionality onto some existing cars in the future, and they may add this functionality onto some future models that come out. So for instance, maybe the new Model 3s and Model Ys that come out, maybe those will have this PowerShare technology. We don't know. It may be just a quick software update for them to enable it on existing vehicles. 
we don't really know the full capabilities of PowerShare. It's really just been announced since the Cybertruck came out. And so this is the universal wall connector for that PowerShare capability, which means that if you have an existing Tesla wall connector, or if you're looking to buy a wall connector, the one consideration you should have is whether or not you're going to get a Cybertruck in the near future, or if you feel confident that the Tesla power share capabilities will come to your existing vehicle or possibly a future Tesla vehicle that you buy. Keeping in mind that you may not buy a Cybertruck because maybe you don't like it, but you might buy a Model 3 or a Model S in the future, and that may have this power share capability. And if you're looking to run some circuits on your house, that might be something that you want to look into. Now, if you're thinking that you could just buy this wall connector, plug it in, and then you'll have immediate power sharing back and forth between your vehicle and your house, that would be incorrect. You do need a little bit more work to make this happen. I believe you need a Tesla gateway. Now, if you're not familiar, Tesla gateways are something that you typically get when you put a Tesla power wall on your house. Now, lucky for me, I've had solar on my roof for over three years now, and last year I just got two Tesla power walls for my house. And so I already have everything I need to make the Tesla power share work back and forth. And this is sort of like the last piece that I need to make it work. Well, actually, I guess I technically need the Cybertruck too, don't I? Well, okay, hurry up, Elon, and let's get my Cybertruck over here so I could test this out. But yeah, that's one of the things that I need to finish up this power share is this wall connector. So. I'm really eager to see how this is going to work in the future. I'm really eager to see how well it works. And uh, yeah, so that'd be really cool to be able to output up to 11 kilowatts of energy from your vehicle into your house. And I'll have the support of not only the Tesla power walls, but also my vehicle to do it as well. So I'm really interested in this functionality. So once again, if you're in the market for a Tesla wall connector, and let's say you're interested in the power share capabilities going back and forth without knowing the, the perfect ideas of whether or not this will work on all future models or certain models or whatever the case may be. If you're willing to spend a few more bucks on a charging system for your garage for your Tesla, I would absolutely recommend going with this. Even if you don't have the need for a J1772 port because you don't have anything that takes J1772, let's say you're just using Teslas, then... I would still consider this. I would still consider this just because of that power share technology. And so I'm really interested to see what happens with that in the next year or so, and uh, if more cars will have the capability of using power share. And the other thing I wanted to point out too is that this is a smart charger. It is a Wi-Fi enabled smart charger as well. And if you are familiar with using the Tesla app on your phone, if you do have power walls, you'll notice that you also have extra functionality when you put a Tesla charger in there as well. They finally got the whole smart part of the, the charger working. So I'm really interested in seeing how that will work on this with not only my Tesla vehicle, but also my Tesla power walls and everything kind of incorporated into one app. Really looking forward to seeing how that works. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's episode. If you like this, if you found it helpful, if this is something you're interested in, hit the thumbs up below the video. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel just below as well. And that'll get you notifications to come back to this channel so you could see the installation of this and how it puts together the Tesla-verse in my household with my power walls and such. Well, anyway, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. If you're looking for a referral code for a Tesla, make sure you look down in the description below as well. And of course, we'll see you on the next episode, so make sure you stay tuned. I'd like to thank you again for watching, and remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to tech motoring. We'll see you soon.